All right, let's see if this thing works. Greetings and salutations, everyone. I'm Austin Peachy, the Odyssey Geek. I don't know about you, but when I introduce Adventures in Odyssey to someone for the first time, I usually pick a comedic episode to play for them. The Odyssey team has certainly made lots of funny episodes over the years, but usually it's the lines and the scenes from the episode itself that sticks in our minds the most. Well, maybe I shouldn't say we, I don't know you all that well, so I guess I should, you know, never assume. Today, I'm going to be sharing with you what I think are the top 10 funniest moments from Adventures in Odyssey. Coming in at number 10 is a scene from a very underrated episode called The Pushover. Sounds like a party. Cool. 620. Hope they don't mind I'm a little early. And up, and up, and up, other night. Uh, um, excuse and up, me? And up, wait, hold it. Oh, thank you. A break. Well, hi, cutie. What you need? Is there a club that meets here? Well, sure. That's us. The Low Impact Aerobics yeah. Club. Yeah. Maybe I should have joined the No Impact Aerobics Club. No, I was looking for... In fact, is there an aerobics club that involves a recliner? Hey, why don't you join us, honey? Well... Show us a thing or two about what it would be like to have energy. I'm sorry. I'm Come not... over here. I need somebody to lean on every now and then. But I'm... Well, you see... What's your name? Cody. Well, come on, Cody. Let's see you kick those legs. Here we up. go again. And up. And up. Left leg. Little higher, Cody. Up. And up. And up. And up. <laughs> I feel so sorry for Cody being tricked into going to the wrong club, but it's pretty funny. Definitely brings lots of chuckles. This is the part of the episode I remember the most. Next at number 9 is the man with the mouth named Smouse in 30 J's Half September. Hey buddy, what's your name? Demarcus. Demarcus, what a great name. My name's Jay. But you can call him Mr. Softbelly. That's right. What? No, no, no. Hi, no. Mr. Softbelly. Demarcus, don't listen to strangers. Call me Jay. And today, <clears throat> we're reading Chucky the Chair by Emerson Fosbeck. Chucky is a chair. Chucky is a brown chair. People like to sit on Chucky. And... All right, kid, we're done here. What? Wait a minute. What happened with Chucky? Who cares? He's a chair. But you left us in suspense. Did Chucky get what he wanted? Did he follow his dreams? Keep reading, Mr. Soft Belly. Jay, not Soft Belly. Uh, okay, the gist is that everybody sits on the chair, and that makes Chucky happy, and he makes friends with an ottoman. The end. You just did a summary of an eight-page book. Less is more. See you later, kid. Bye, Mr. Sopka. Jay. The name is Jay. This is just one gem in the episode that is 30 J's Half September. Here and Jay have to do good deeds, well, slightly nice deeds for people. It's hilarious. Coming in at number eight is Sounds of Love from Prequels of Love. How are you? Oh, well, good, good. Tell me about your family. Well, I have a mom, dad, five brothers and sisters. I'm the third. Oh, lost in the middle. Did you feel like the forgotten child? Unheard, unloved? No, I, I was pretty loud, actually. Uh, it was hard not to notice me. My mom said I was like a bulldozer in the library. <laughs> mm -hmm. It seems you use humor to set up uh, emotional walls. Is that right? Oh, uh, speaking of walls, I got this great joke. Do you uh, often have difficulty opening up to people? Uh, I'm not telling you that. It's too personal. <laughs> well, it sounds like you're an avoider. You know, can we talk about something else? Apparently, you're in a state of very intense denial, Bernard. No, no, no. I am vehement about that. I never deny anything. Well, I think you have narcissistic personality disorder. That's what I think. Yeah, well, I would argue that with you, but I have no idea what that means. Well, I can't imagine you're going to be much of a counselor. Well, at least I'm not going to be a quack like you. What? Did you call me a quack? Quack, quack. You stop that. I am not a quack. First you dress up like a chicken and now you're a duck. What's next, a cow? That, that is very rude. You stop quacking the I am not either of those. Oh. Bernard is one of those kinds of characters that always speaks his mind. Of course, it's usually under his breath. In this episode, we get a glimpse of Bernard's dating life with Maud and a rare appearance from Maud herself. Bernard certainly doesn't act like himself in this scene, but hey, people do crazy things when they're in love. At number seven, we have two very talkative people trying to have a conversation, if you can call it that, in Hear Me, Hear Me. 
Hi, my name. Hello, Whoa. I'm Evelyn. I'm from out of town, oh. Muskegon, Michigan. Okay. Actually, I technically live in this little town outside of Muskegon, yeah. but no one's ever heard of it, so I just say Muskegon. Oh, oh, Have you ever been up to that area before? In four words, if you ever oh. go, you need to swing by the Muskegon Historical Museum. Okay. I've actually never been there myself, but from what I hear, it's actually lovely. Porcupine pinatas, fandango. It's brick, actually, a deep red oh. brick, and it looks so historic, right. like one of the Kennedys used to speak there before sure. they died. Okay. Are all the Kennedys dead? Oh, you know, There's still that no. one around, isn't there? Asterisk, marshmallow, jurisdiction, Heimlich! What was that? <gasps> I did it! Four words, that was... <gasps> that was seven! Oh, I once met a woman who taught the Heimlich maneuver. Yes, we were in a snail restaurant in Baltimore. Woo! I know what you're thinking. Yes, I do, snail restaurant. But I'm telling you, it's quite a funny experience. This whole episode is chock full of great humor with a main focus on Connie and Eugene's contest. However, this little gem stands out because it has two very wacky characters having a conversation with each other, but not really listening to each other at all. Hmm, maybe that was the whole point of the episode. I guess I'll have to go back and re-listen to the episode. Number six shows you how much better public schools are in Odyssey, and shows you how to sink a sub. Remember the plan, everyone. Whenever Mrs. Meltzner says the word class, everyone screams and changes seats. Got it? Got it, yeah. Okay. Oh, ooh, she's coming. Ooh, act normal. <clears throat> oh, good morning. Sorry I'm late, class. I was so... <laughs> well, that was interesting. Okay. Perhaps now we can continue. All right, class, please take out the... S settle down, class. <laughs> this, this is ridiculous. Sit down, everyone. I have no problem with giving a week of detention to the entire class. Ah, mutiny, take over. Ah, rebellion. Ah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> that scene cracks me up pretty much every time I listen to it. Definitely the highlight of the episode. It's a safe bet if an episode has a wrath bun in it, it's going to be pretty funny. Some of the funniest moments has a member of this family in four out of the top five, starting at number five with Broken Window. Why in the world would you want me for a character witness? You don't know me very well! That helps. Oh, fine. Uh, I'll testify. I promise to tell the whole truth and so on and so forth. Mitch, a while ago, we had a bit of a run-in, right? Well, if you mean the time you started a riot at the company where I work, threw rocks at innocent people and ended up landing Mr. Whitaker in the hospital, uh, then yes, we had a run-in. But I admitted it to you! Well, since we have a police report written up about it and you went to jail and... Uh... The point is, I may do some slightly illegal things, but I always admit it when I get caught. So, if I had broken the window, I would admit it, right? I don't know, I mean... But you don't not know! Yeah, I, I, I mean, no, I don't not know, uh, I guess. So, if you don't not know, then you do know! And if you know that the answer isn't no, then you know that there's no way you can know I broke the window! Huh? No further questions. This is one of the handful of scenes in Odyssey where an actor is able to play two characters in the same scene and talk to each other. Next up at number four is a classic scene from a classic episode called Family Values. Now, Doris, honey, according to the book, good communication between a husband and a wife is the key to a strong family. So that is just what we're going to do. What? Communicate. Oh, okay. Good. Now put the chips down. Uh, you go first. I gotta go first. Somebody has to. Why can't it be use? Because I ask use. But I don't want to go first. Why not? Because... I don't feel comfortable. Well, what would make you feel comfortable? If you went first. Look, Doris, it's always ladies first. Oh, so you're saying if I don't go first, I'm the lady? No, 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 of course not. Well, you said it's always ladies first, which means that if I don't go first, you don't think I'm a lady. That's not what I meant, and you know it. You must have meant it if you said it. Not necessarily. What are you telling me? That you say things you don't mean? No. You can't have it both ways, Bart. Either you say what you mean and mean what you say, or you don't. Now, which is it? Look, I know you think you understand what you thought you heard me say, but what you thought you heard me say was certainly not what you thought I meant. Huh? Uh, can we just start over? 
Oh, no. You're not changing the subject that easy. What subject? You don't respect me. How do we get on respect? You know perfectly well how. All I'm trying to do is communicate, which is... Well, I don't know why. Why should you want to communicate with someone you don't respect? Maybe you better just think about that, mister. Oh, yeah, that went well. There are so many scenes from this episode that are just hilarious, but I had to pick just one scene for this video. This is also one of the few Odyssey episodes where we hear all the Rathbone family together. And now, here's the skinny on number three, Do or Diet. Uh, you need to create a diversion. Oh yeah, like on Power Boy where they uh, hoot and holler and stuff? Yeah, or make up some not too tragic tragedy to keep her attention off me. Got it. Okay, one, two, three. Oh, get off my arm, Wooten! Oh, sorry. Uh, uh, hoot! Holler! Hoot! Holler! Wooten, what are you doing? Uh, some not too tragic tragedy has happened. What? Uh, uh, it's Bernard. What's wrong? Well, uh, uh somebody stepped on his arm. Is he okay? Well, I, I don't know. Hey, Bernard, are you okay? Wooten. Bernard, you've got brownies. Then... Give those to me. Oh, okay, okay, here you go. Thank you. Now don't be late for dinner. Healthy surprises await. Oh yeah. Yum, yum. Do or Die quickly became one of my favorite comedic episodes after I first heard it. Some people I know call it the Bye Bye Brownie episode. That's a classic line that you can hear later in the episode for yourself. Coming in at number two is the fan favorite, Aloha Oi. Or specifically for this scene, Aloha Oi Part 2. Wait, hold, 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 wait a minute, hold it, hold it. Rodney, have you gone completely out of your mind? But Pop, I want to do it. It'll show how brave I am. It'll show how nuts you are. Bravery's no reason to walk barefoot across a bed of hot coals. In fact, there is no reason to walk barefoot across a bed of hot coals. Hey, Bart, when you ran over, your uh, wallet fell into the pit. My wallet? Pop, <laughs> 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 ah, you did it. Well, there's almost no reason. Anybody got a bucket of ice? When I was a kid, I used to rewind that part of the tape over and over again just so I could hear Bart Rathbun yelling. This is another one of those scenes that makes me laugh almost every time that I hear it. And now, the funniest moment from Adventures in Odyssey at number one comes from Sunday Morning Scramble. Oh, well now here, here, chocolate sprinkles. Oh, this'll go good on the cheesecake. And <laughs> there's two slices left. <laughs> oh, that's good. Oh, what's this over here? Cayenne, cayenne pepper. That must be French. <laughs> well, I like pepper. Maybe I'll put a little here on the cheesecake. Yeah. Oh boy! Did you? Oh boy! That's hot water. I need water. Hot, hot. Oh. Oh, I gotta get this, I gotta get this taste out of my mouth here, over to the sink. Oh, she didn't have time to do the dishes, I can't get my head out of the water. Oh, boy. There, yeah, the fishbowl, the fishbowl. Excuse me, fish, out of the way, out of the way. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh. Where, where, where's the stripey one? I thought there were five. Where's the funny stripe of the fish? I don't see him. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh. How did the Japanese do that? What makes this one so memorable? Well, for one, Bart Rathbone's in it. The other thing is, Walker Edmondson, Bart's actor, ad libbed the entire thing. He was so in tune with his character that he didn't need the writers to write anything for this scene. It's pure comedic eugenius. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you had a great time. If you enjoyed this video, you can give it a like. You like stuff all the time on Facebook, right? So why not start now on YouTube? Speaking of Facebook, you can like Odyssey Geek there and follow us on Twitter, Google Plus, and Instagram. Make sure to tell me in the comments below what you think of the funniest moments from Adventures in Odyssey. Were there some I should have added to my list? I'm sure there are several that I missed, so help my 20-something brain to remember them. If you want to hear the full episodes where the clips in this video came from, links to where you can buy and hear them are in the video description below. Trust me, they're well worth your time and money. I'd love to stay in chat, but that would keep me from leaving. See you next time!